Welcome to Highline Excel 2013, class video number 21. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214, Week 4, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about index and match functions. They are powerful lookup functions that can do a lot of things that VLOOKUP cannot do. So in this video we want to look at four examples of unusual lookups. Now let's scroll down here. There's some notes here in the yellow. Here's our first situation. We have a store we sell boomerangs. And if we have a customer that comes in and says, hey, I want a 70 meter boomerang. I want to be able to tell them what boomerang to purchase. Now the problem is, is that the boomerang name is in the first column and the description right here is in the last column. But I need to look something up in the last column. VLOOKUP only looks up something in the first column. No problem. Index and match can do regular lookup in the first column, in the middle column, the last column, or any column. Very versatile combination. So let's look at it. Now the trick here Index is not hard. The actual hard part is match. Oh, but wait a second. We already learned how to do match. If we say, hey, match, go look up flying range is 70. That's a description here. Match will look it up in this range and tell you the relative position. One, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth position. All right. Now, match doesn't care if the range it's looking up is vertical like this in a column vertical with rows or match can also like we saw in our last video do a horizontal range too so match is very versatile with index it's even more powerful now let's look at index index is a lookup function now there's two options here the bottom option is when you have multiple tables we're not going to use this option I'll show you a different way to do multiple tables with the choose function we're going to use this top option array row number column number now this array can be any sized range or array of values so for us the way we think about it is what we put in the array argument is the, are the things we want to go and get. Remember with VLOOKUP, the things we wanted to get are you, were always from the other columns, two, three, four. But for index, you actually in the array put all the things you want to get. So you always put the things you want to get. Now this range or array can be one way vertical, it can be horizontal, or it could be two-way meaning a whole table and we'll see all of the examples in this video so there's the array what is array array are the things you want to go and get and bring back to the cell then all you have to do is tell it hey either what row it's in or what column now we only have one vertical range a column of items each one is in a different row one two, three, four. So it looks like the one we want for 70 meters would be five. Oh, well that like that sounds like a perfect job for match. So I'm going to say, hey, match. Look this up, comma, within this range. So isn't that cool? We get match to go figure out what the relative position is in the last column. And index will go and retrieve the values from this range over here. All right, so we have that comma and we're doing exact match zero. If these were sorted perfectly, and guess what? They're not. 110 and see it says the range is 10, the range is 110. That is not sorted. In terms of alphabetical sorting, 10 and 110 would be next to each other. So that's not sorted. So we have to do exact match. Close parentheses. All right, that's it. We give it the row number or relative position and the values we want to go and get and index and match will do it. It's doing a look up left and check this out. I can say, hey, I want a 50 meter boomerang and instantly it tells me the weighted sunset. If I want the big one here, I want the 160, the manu ma magic. Let's go look at our next example. Now here's a situation. We have all of these different vendors and we have bids for our different parts. 
and we want to know the min bit. Well, that's easy enough. We just say, hey, look, the min function, and it tells him Broop, that's the min value. But now what do we want? I don't want to have to do this manually. I want to know the vendor's name. But look at where the vendor's name is. It's at the top. So this vendor submitted all of these prices for various products, right? Han Shop submitted these. I just want to be able to look this up within this range right here, find the smallest, and then from this range, return the name of the vendor. Well, I can do this one with my eyes. This one's Cranky's, right? So I copy it and put it here. 3142. Oh, that one. So that's Mech Aid. Right? I would never want to have to do that. But notice what we're doing each time. We're looking up the min within this range. So we could find the relative position here. Because look, broop, that's the same size as the number of vendors up here. So 3264, that would be 1, 2. So if I lo have match, look up this value within this range here, it would tell me 2. And then the index could be holding all these values. And since Bay Air is in the second one, it would be returned to the cell. So let's try this. This is something that VLOOKUP can't do. Equals index. The array, it's always the things you want to go and get and bring back to the cell. Now, this one is horizontal, right? The one we saw just a moment ago was vertical. The power of index and match. That array doesn't matter. Horizontal, vertical, or two-way. F4 to lock it, because when I copy down, I always need to look at the vendor's name. Comma, row number, relative position, match comes to our rescue. I'm looking up the low bid. That's a relative cell reference. Comma, and the lookup array, it's also going to be relative a relative range. So as I copy it down, it will move to each new product's bid prices, comma, and I'm absolutely doing exact match because these are not sorted, close parentheses. Now, technically, I'm looking up a column number. If you go up to help, it says that if it's a one-way array, you can always use row number. If you want to be uh, polite on yourself and not have to memorize that extra rule, we can just type a comma and skip right over that. And there's the column number. Either one will work. Close parentheses. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Jump to the end. F2 to make sure that all of the cell references are working. And they are. Look at that. That is an amazing lookup where we had to look up the min price from a number of bids and return the vendor's name. Now let's scroll down and see our next example. Notice we did one-way lookup vertical with rows, one-way lookup horizontal with column numbers. Now let's do a two-way. So here's a discount table. Here's all the discounts. We can select a part number. So right now, it would be part number three. And depending on how many products are bought, we give bigger and bigger discounts. So 25, boom, they get a 19%. 75, they still get that because they're not up to 100. If I give 125, instantly they jump up and we need to get 21. So notice in this situation, these are all the values that we're trying to get and bring them down to the cell. We have something that we're selecting from here that will tell us which row. Now, if this is the array and the index, right now if I say part three, it would be the third row. If it's 125, it would be 1, 2, 3, the fourth column. So we're going to use index with both the row number and the column number. Just for kicks, let's see the match. And again, we've seen this a few times in this class. If it's hard to throw all the functions and type them out all in one big formula, do them in little bits. So I'm going to boop, look that up, comma. And what's so cool about the match is it doesn't care. 
if it's vertical with rows or horizontal with columns. Comma, zero, I'm just going to assume that I put these funny part names. They could be anything not sorted. That will tell me the relative position. We can use that for the row number in our index. Three. Now let's do the same match. Look at this. It doesn't care as long as it's a one-way array. I highlight, and now, comma, we want approximate. Remember, it races till it runs into the first bigger one and then jumps back. If it races all the way to the end and the last one is still not bigger, it takes the bigger one. That's straight from VLOOKUP. And guess what? For match, this is also the default. That square bracket there means if you know the default, you can leave it out. And we do know the default. Default is just like VLOOKUP. Close parentheses, control enter. Four. Let's test it. This person only bought 15. Instantly, their discount's going to be 17. Now, watch this. We can do a trick with the clipboard. Now, if you want to open the clipboard, you can use the dialog launcher. If you do this a lot, you can go down to options and enact CC. Pressing CC twice will open the clipboard. And so I always have it turned on. So when I have a bunch of formula elements, control CC. Now I can see it's there. Now I escape, I go get the next one. Control C, escape. Now I'm going to select B51 equals index. Oh, I love this. It doesn't matter if it's horizontal, vertical, or two way. Look at that. The whole two-way array. And now the row number and the column number will both have to be used. So the row number, that was the part. If I can look up here, I don't even remember which one. OK, so I did the row number first. I hope I got that. If it doesn't work, I'll come back and uh, move them. But now I can see that cell reference. Yes, it's looking at the part and then the purple one up there, right? I'm looking at the screen tip here. Array, that's the two-way. Row, that's the match. Now I come over here. That's the match for the part number, right? Now I come over here, comma. I get my second. Doop. That whole one right there, that's going to give me the column number. Close parentheses. Control, enter. So now I can pick whatever I want. So if this is for an invoice, oh, this is beautiful. So this would be 45. So 21 discount. If I go down to part one, the discount is 17%. Escape. And I want to close the clipboard now. Now think about this. We have index and match doing a two-way lookup. We have it doing a lookup on horizontal ranges and vertical ranges. So it's a pretty versatile combination, index and match. But there's still one other great use we can actually look up an entire column or row. So instead of just looking up a single item in a single cell, let's say I want to look up January or February and actually get the whole column to then add. And down here, I maybe from a drop down want to select. And so this would be looking up a whole row, whole column. So if these are both March, whole column, whole row. Index can do it, no problem. Let's do index. The array, we're going to give it the whole two-way array, right? Because it's looking up one of these, in this case, columns. Now, notice something. When I say April is in a column, it is in a column. But what is it filled with? It's filled with rows. All right, so we have our two-way array, comma. Now, the row number. We're going to skip over that for a second because notice March is going to tell us which column it is. So I'm just going to skip over it. And now column, I'm going to do match. Oh, the screen tip changes. Isn't that polite? Match will look up that whatever month we put there, comma, within here, comma, zero. We don't have it sorted. And match will tell us which column number. Now, here's the amazing thing. We just kind of skipped over this. But if you skip over a column, 
or a row. So here we skipped over row. Our next example, we'll skip over the column. But because it's a two-way, when you skip over and leave it empty or put a zero, that tells the index function to get all of the rows. So when you put zero in row number, it means it'll get all the rows. The match here, that'll tell March, it'll tell this column. So right now the two-way lookup has the third column. That zero will say all the rows, and that's how it does it. Now I usually leave it empty. You can do either one. If you go up to help, click on boop, that right there, it says exactly that. This is basically from help right there. So that's it. Now, just as we saw earlier in the class, when you have a formula element that's looking up more than one item, when you hit enter, it can't display all of the items. But let's highlight it, the whole thing, in edit mode and use our F9 key. The F9 key is evaluation key. And we can very clearly see it got all of them. Control Z. Now, index, we saw earlier how countif spit out an array. Index is a weird function that even though we saw that array syntax there, it spits out what Excel considers a range, just like A2 to A5. So we can put this one just inside of the sum function. And when we hit enter, it adds them up. So that formula right there, index looking up an entire column. If I change this to January, it adds it up. If I change it to February, that is amazing. Now let's do the same thing, but here, instead of looking up a column, we're going to be looking up a row. So you ready? Equals index. I give it the whole two-way array. Comma. Now the row number is what we're looking up. So match. Hey, I'm going to look up the month right there, comma, the one-way array to figure out row number or relative position, comma, zero for exact match because those months are not going to be sorted all the time or be in any alphabetical order. Now, that's going to give me Boop, that'll give me right now, if I hit F9 to evaluate, it tells me 3, right? Control Z to undo that. Comma, now I type a comma, and I'm going to close parentheses, because remember the rule is either put a 0, that tells the index function to get all of the columns, or leave it empty. Same thing, it's called omitted. It says now go get all of the columns. So match is going to look up row number boop, 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 3, and then the empty or the 0 in column will say get all of the columns. If we highlight this and hit F9, there's our uh, array of values return, control Z. Index is a weird function. It's different than most other functions that spit out multiple items. Index actually spits out what Excel considers a range. So you don't have to do anything fancy. You can just put it in the sum function, and it will add 18. So it's looking up March. It added them. We say look up January, and it adds them. So index can look up an entire row or all the columns. It can look up an entire column or all the rows. Index can do a two-way lookup. It can do a one-way lookup based on horizontal ranges. And it can even do a one-way lookup based on vertical ranges. Or many times this is considered a lookup left. Because if you use VLOOKUP, it can only look up in the first column. But here, we were allowed to look up in the last column and go and look up something to the left, which is not possible with the VLOOKUP function. So there you go. Index and match, oh so powerful. We'll see you next video.